The chord key by Impromptu is a super simple chord module that allows us to quickly produce custom progressions. The main inputs and outputs are here. It accepts a control voltage to select among the chord banks, and a gate that gets passed on to the four gate outputs here. These outputs produce the pitch information, and we can use them monophonically with different oscillators, or we can combine the outputs through the context menu and use it with a polyphonic module. We select the notes of the chord by clicking these little lights on the piano display. We choose the individual note octaves with the octave controls here. And we can quickly transpose the chords up and down with the transpose feature here. I like using a small sequencer, like the SEC4 by SynthKit, to progress the chords. We connect the output of the step sequencer to the control voltage input like this. Then we adjust the values on these knobs to correspond to the chord bank that we want. I've got a chord progression here now that runs through the first four banks of the chord key. We can adjust the progression's pace by multiplying or dividing the clock connected to the sequencer's clock input. In this case, I've got mine set to a divided by 4 clock, so the chord switches every 4 beats, which represents 1 bar at 120 BPM. The gate output can be used to trigger envelopes. It doesn't have to trigger every tick of the clock, however. We can hook this up to a separate sequencer to get some interesting rhythms. We don't have to use this gate output either. We can set up gates that trigger the pitches independently and make some arpeggios. These chords that I'm using are currently in closed voicing, which means all the notes are in the range of one octave. This can be good, especially if we want these chords to fit in a mix that has a bassy voicing and a high voicing like this. But if we want these chords to sound more majestic and full, we can utilize an open voicing, which expands past an octave. This particular chord progression is called a 251, and it's super common. It resolves from the dominant chord to the tonic chord, so it feels like a good solid resolution. But what if we do this instead? We set up the resolution by giving the taste of a 251, but then we did a bait and switch. Most folks would call this a deceptive cadence, and we might think that this is some classical music theory bullshit, but honestly it's not. Here's a minor deceptive cadence in a drum and bass style.
we're able to set up some lovely chord progressions, arpeggios, and all this good stuff because of this super intuitive module. The chord key is free, link to it in the description. That's all for this one. Shout out to GroomPay, who's the newest supporter added to the list. You rock, dude. And thanks for telling me how to pronounce your name. Shout out to all my other supporters as well. If you like this kind of stuff, check out my other content. It's all free, and it always will be. Tune in next time for a video on the Random Sampler by Audible Instruments. Okay, that's all. Bye.